how I met Brian. I met Brian through the comment section on YouTube. Um, I commented on one of his videos and he commented right back, um, which I thought was kind of rare. I've been watching YouTube just for kind of a few years. Um, but I started watching him for a good little while. Um, I, uh, I decided that uh, I wanted to go see him up there in Michigan. And this was, uh, this was after they did the second expansion. And, um, I never really get out of where I live. I don't, I just, I'm a workaholic. Uh, but I decided to save up some money and, uh, Bought a plane ticket and paid for the hotel. Went up there to go see him. I wanted to go up there for a whole week. Um, got up there. Uh, a guy, Mac, uh, through the chats and stuff like that, he was able to come also. So we stayed together. Uh, well, the next day when I got to uh, the Reptarium, that's when I got to meet Brian. Uh, after talking to Brian through the chats and stuff like that, you know, messaging him back and forth, I felt like we were we were friends. I really did. Um, when I met Brian in person, I felt like we were family. Almost right away. Uh, The the moment I met Brian, I was kind of like in a celebrity shell shock kind of moment because I've met every celebrity I've ever wanted to meet in my life. Uh, and I never look up to other like people because we're all just humans. Uh, and ain't nobody no different, you know, but Brian, <clears throat> Brian was different. Brian was somebody that uh, inspired me from day one uh, to follow my dreams, you know, to be kind and stay awesome. Uh, I enjoyed that every morning. But anyway, back to uh, visiting the Reptarium for the first time. When... I got up there and got to see everything that I seen on the vlog. And then <clears throat> Brian giving us the tour of downstairs in the basement, you know, pretty much just letting us free roam the whole entire place. And then spending and all day every day there until I was until I was leaving. Um, those moments we got to do the podcast, um, we got to go to Brian's house and, uh, cook pizza. Uh, that's something that, uh, I can say I have a kind of, kind of a regret how my, no regrets in life, but, uh. I made good pizza. I messed up a pizza. Uh, <laughs> but the only thing I really wanted was, uh, I wanted a friend. I wanted somebody I could, uh, I could message every day. They message back. Someone that cared. Someone that, uh, I didn't have to, like, think about if they cared or if they really, you know, just pacifying, uh, you know, uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, but Brian cared. Brian cared. Um, there's so many memories I could think of, but just right now it's just, they're popping in my head left and right. Emotions are getting the best of me. But he talked about animal calling on that first trip. And... 
He talked about people that, that, you know, that some didn't like each other, some liked each other, and all of us being in the same room together. And then just kind of all coming together for one, one, <clears throat> one good cause, you know, like who got you there and why, what got you there? And what I mean by that is like us fans have got con them content creators there where they are today in their careers, in their lives. Um, I'll say this, they all owe it, owe it to Brian. The first Animal Con was awesome. To me, I got to experience a once in a lifetime seeing people that I never thought I'd meet, never thought I'd have the, the time of day all in one room. Um, When I left and got home, I wrote a letter. And I told myself, I've connected with Brian. I've connected with him on the internet. Friends, family, got his phone number. Been to his house. Uh, been in the sauna. Been in the cold tub. Uh, <laughs> uh, all of that. Uh, but I sat down and I wrote him a letter. I told him how much uh how much Animal Con meant to me and uh his vision. I uh I I'm <clears throat> I'm a super introvert, super shy, so it's hard for me to come say hi. Uh but at Animal Con whew, people are coming to talk to me. I really didn't have to go introduce myself. Uh, everybody knows me as I'm Brian's friend. That that kind of that kind of like friendship <clears throat> is super rare. Uh, I cherish that a lot of it. Um. But I wrote him a letter on how I felt and what I thought could be fixed or just could be in my favor as a, <clears throat> as a fan, um, fan's perspective. Uh, and that, <clears throat> I just looked up to him, man. So, the, the next year, 2023... We get the the news he's <clears throat> he's diagnosed with cancer. Um I've had cancer happen in my family. Um but nothing where it's like it's affected me. <clears throat> it's affected me as an adult that I can kinda like accept it and not accept it. As a kid, it's a kinda oh I don't really know what happened. Um, but now that I'm older, uh, it makes me cherish, <clears throat> cherish those moments because they could be gone like that. Um, the people that have come into my life through Brian uh, the whole chat game. And, uh, that's family. The reptile community. That's family. The bar checks. That's family. Brian, thank you. For everything you've done, everything that you're going to keep doing, because you always inspire me and everybody else. You're my Walt Disney, <laughs> that's for sure. 
Uh, so don't forget, don't forget, don't forget to start charging for them drink <laughs> for them drinks and popcorn. <laughs> uh, no, but having the reptarium man and just that experience that you see for kids. And then the legacy, the legacy, man, I cannot wait for it to open. But also, I can wait. Patience is a virtue. And no matter how long it takes, I'll do everything I can to make sure it does open. That's something that <clears throat> I don't want you to worry about, Mr. Brian. And Miss Lori, we got your back. Noah, you're going to be a daddy before me. <laughs> uh, love y'all. I just want to say I'll probably tell more stories about you. Try not to get the emotions up. Try not to get them down. Um, but, man. I want to have the comfort and the joy knowing that everything will be okay. 